Good evening, everybody. Thanks for staying with us. Welcome back to the Namdong Ashid Stadium here in Incheon, Korea. The men's Olympic qualifiers. We are here for the eighth and ninth playoff match at the end of today to decide which team will go through to the quarterfinals tomorrow. Take that eighth spot. It's going to be Afghanistan versus Chinese Taipei. There's been a two-hour break with just these two teams the officials, the broadcasters, sticking around for a match which is important to these two teams. The team that loses will be out after just the first day of action here. Afghanistan, plenty of slow man kills there. Four brothers and a cousin, five of them in the squad. They've been cobbled together for this tournament. They played their last tournament in August in Indonesia, the Asia Rugby Sevens Trophy finished seventh in that event. Chinese Taipei, well, they brought a team of youngsters. They went okay this morning, losing to Malaysia in an exciting match, 26-19. And then, last of all, they played Hong Kong in the final pool match, got absolutely shellacked, 54-0. So, all on the line for these two sides, Craig Chan, our referee from Hong Kong, the winner of this team, well, their fate will be to play Hong Kong tomorrow morning in one of the quarterfinals out of the frying pan into the fryer, you might say. Joining me, Jed Thine, for this final match of day one. Well, what a game, and absolutely right. It's a uh, tough one to hang around for, but welcome and greetings to all the friends and family of the players. Yeah, great having you with us, and here go. Afghanistan straight away. It's Zakir, slow man kill. And he's going to coast in for their second try of the day. This is the man that's played professional rugby league and rugby union. And he's finally got away for one. Great way to start this game for Afghanistan. There it is, nice touch there. It's two more, 7-0. Great way to open the account. Maybe the arousal factor for Chinese Taipei, just a little bit off the button. Certainly not for Afghanistan. Away they go. Conversion's good by Omar Shlomankil, and he goes for the cheeky short one, and they've recovered it. Through Sabir, slow man, and they can't stop the big fella. He's up to the 22. Omar, straight ball. They're coming from everywhere, the slow man calls. And here it's Sayed Mustafa Sadat. And here we go, the big man. Over he goes. Say, so yeah, slow man call. And well, he looks over the moon, doesn't he? I'm sure inside he's doing cartwheels. Well, he's giving it a fair crack of the workman, isn't he? As he's gone over, and they should be celebrating too. Terrific to see. That's two. Two converted as well. There's 14. This is a beauty. Well, they've flown a long way. Mustafa lays off, and he only had eyes for the line. A Dremoyne player from Sydney. The Dirty Reds, they call them booze. The Dirty Reds. Well, it's the slow mankle show so far. They've popped over. Oh, good variation on the restart. It looked like... they got the short one. they got the shallow one. they got the high and mighty. You suspect here they've got to get out to a bit of a fly. They won't have the fitness of Chinese Taipei. A couple of tries buffer already. Here come Chinese Taipei, first real effort. Nearly three minutes gone, and that's, well, maybe that's a cunning move. And it, oh, great take it. Yeah, great covering. Afghanistan without the sweeper, it was a good option in the end. But the toe through just came off the side of his boot and <laughs> popped straight into the hands of Zakir Shlomankil. He's impressive, isn't he? 
Certainly the glue of the team. He's got all the skills. Gee whiz, it did look like it went back. It might be Mustafa gave it a wee touch in there. Craig Chan and his ARs. Penalised at the scrum. Here goes Lai Kuang Huang. Runs into some heavy traffic there. Definitely up against it. Physically, these boys Stand are big. Sweden. Yeah, look at them. No stranger to some bicep kills. If they're going to try and go around the outside here, Chinese Taipei. The tackling's been good so far. This time from Omar Slomankil. They try and find a mismatch out there, but Omar is up to it. Getting busy over the top, oh, Sakir, work. and he's... Oh, wow, no daylight, says Craig Chan. Marginal. Throwing the ball away. Oh, he's going to go to the bin for two minutes, and that's tragic for them. Well, they've grown up playing rugby on the fields of New Zealand. They should know better than losing their call in a game of sevens. But still, they're playing with a lot of passion, aren't they? Afghanistan. Now, Chinese Taipei, surely if they're just patient enough, they'll find the space somewhere. They've got the speed. Uh, Tang Pao Sheng, he's been impressive today, and he's just knocked that on. A little finger got in the road there. It was a big finger, mind. I'll say, yeah, slow mankle. He's done enough to dislodge it and eat up a couple of seconds. Craig Chan's getting a little bit upset here. He's put one man in the bin. Now he's having a chat with Sayer. Slow man call. Well. There's <laughs> a fair bit of chat going down, which is really typical. <laughs> Can't say all the habits you've picked up in New Zealand rugby have been good. Well, there's a lot on this game for these two sides. And, oh, how about the push there? And Chance penalised them for pushing too hard and fast. And surely they're just going to work the edge now. And Tang holds on to this one. Wants to get back for a speedy conversion. Well, it's good. They've pushed him out wide for the conversion attempt. So and they've almost worked out the entire half. There can only be a minute or so left now. I guess as the clock ticks. So two tries to one plus two conversions. They've just got to be cool here if they can. The Afghanistan team. They'll be desperate to win. They want to win. It was great talking to them last night. You get a real feeling for what it means for them to be here. And, you know, the brothers, the cousins... It's a pretty tight in that game. It's basically a Maori rugby team. That's right. They've come from New Zealand, Australia, Sweden, and Afghanistan to be here. It's uh, probably got the highest, easily got the highest air miles of any team getting here. It'd be a shame to see them go home after this game. As is Taipei, of course, but you can connect with the story and the tilt. Here they go again through a mass low mankle. He's back on. Zakir, and he's in there trying to fish the ball out. They're attacking the ball on the ground. Here's Omar again, the inside ball. Here he comes, Sabir, slow mankle, running hard. And on the hooter, they've lost it. And here's, here's a change of tactics. It's a good tactic, you feel. Not releasing the player. Yeah, no daylight. Well read there. Well, good technique as well. It's a great lesson there for 
youngsters have got the benefit of the grass tracks. Body on the ball between you and the chasing player. Get down on the ball, secure it. It's an old skill, but it's a good skill. They want one after the hooter. Getting around the outside. There's Gazang. Good tackle. Great tackle. Good tackle by Lowe, and that's going to be half time. That's Mustaf Sadat there. He's the one that's come from Sweden. 14 5 at half time. Exciting game. Both teams wanting to stay in this fight. Come back tomorrow. We are at 11.06 local time. They'll face Hong Kong as we look at these tries from the first half. Well, they've just caught Korea. I mean, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. They've just caught Chinese Taipei flat-footed and cold there. And then, well, they've caught them in front of them. Standing still there, the big man. He's chased on through and eventually, look at that. Great bit of skill. Eventually, Chinese Taipei were able to stress them too much when it was six on seven. And the last throw of the dice in the first half. Sees low. Put a pretty good shot on. We'll stuff up. They were telling us last night that some of these players are brand new to rugby. They've not played a lot of rugby at all. Well, I reckon I know which ones they are. We had our mate that got uh, carded in the first game, or the second game, for the no-shoulders tackle. He's done everything but put the arms out. It was a real Sunny Bill classic. Well, as he said, still learning to catch and pass some of the players. Craig Chan has a word to Omar Slomankil. This bloke, he's had a, look, look at him. He's got a captain, he's got a playmaker, and he's got a coach at the same time. And I think Craig Chan's probably worked that one out by here. He's doing what he can to uh, keep a lid on everybody over there. I am my brother's keeper. Yeah. Here we go, final seven minutes of the first day here in Korea. Chinese Taipei recently relegated from the top level of Rugby Sevens for Asia. Going through rebuilding stage. Quite a few young players here. This is all good warm-up games for the Southeast Asia games coming up next month as well. Oh, oh an intercept. They would have got away there. A little bit of advantage. They run into... The imposing figure of Sayer Slomankul on the ground is Zhao Hanjing. They're not 10, I don't think. Could be another card if this doesn't come off for Chinese Taipei. This is good hard running from Lo Shin Kui. Double blast, that's ominous. Yes, second yellow. Is that, uh, is that Zakir? Play it out for Chinese Taipei. That, is that the high tackle or offside? No, that's the injury. Well, I think it was. A, I think he's called a high tackle there, Craig Chan. Was well, lazy. Just well, that's two yellows, isn't it? It might be two, and that could be curtains, is it? And I think I've inadvertently helped get him red carded. Yes, Chan's holding the red card. Zakir Slomankel has been ejected from the game. He was sitting quietly on the chair, hoping to go unnoticed. I'm not sure of the process here. Do they review that card, that red card, and determine whether he can stay for the rest of the play tomorrow? Or? Well, I'm sure they're listening. So their inspirational leader is off and out for this game at least. Which opens the door for Chinese Taipei. They've got six, five and a half minutes to score twice. And they've got the fitness, they've got the speed, 
and Zhao is going to get the five-pointer round by the post goes Zhao Hanjing and that could just be the beginning of the comeback for Chinese Taipei well they've taken a tough blow there Afghanistan and Chinese Taipei to their credit have managed to take advantage of that they need more points to win the game and well pitchers say it all really don't they right here's a run look at this run he's gone all the way for Afghanistan outstanding that's a heroic reply that's a great effort from Omar Slomankil and he keeps Afghanistan in this game straight under the post he'll look to add the extra to himself remarkable stuff he's just thrown the team on his shoulders and taken them all the way down he's given them a shot this is going to be a courageous effort by Afghanistan if they can keep Chinese Taipei off the ball for the full stretch you would just about have to say that, that try and the scheme of the tournament may not mean a lot but it certainly means a lot to Afghanistan rugby yep they pulled back out to nine points three and a half minutes remaining Chinese Taipei up against six players here plenty of time for a couple of tries and the tiring Afghanis are now falling off tackles can they keep numbering up there's a couple walking out there and I think <laughs> now I'd be walking to this set I'd be walking to this set piece I'd be walking very slowly you'd have a boot lace that's oh, slightly they, needed I just don't know how they both came undone at once <laughs> Urgent attention. Unbelievable. Drop cold. And it is a bit cold out there. But oh, yeah, well. They're just eating up 30 seconds. And yeah, look, going in with a bit of chat there is Abdullah Gazang. Good. Good showmanship, gamesmanship. Coach there. He knows what they're up to. And they'll probably just want to give it to the. Their star, Omar Slow Mankel. I'm sure they yeah, won't good shut penalty. up shop yet. Yeah, well earned. Just take your time. What do we do here? Up the jump as she goes. We've got to look for someone to kick it. We we'll oh, have to no. look some, maybe have to look over to the crowd perhaps That's for right. someone to kick it. This boot lace is undone. That's a good kick. Well, this is where the the on-field leadership will see how cunning the grammar boys are. Look at that. It's a beautiful. They found the man. He steps inside the last two. And he's in. Oh, no. He looks like he's nobbled himself as well. He'll be fine. He'll come right in the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> he's picked up a double. And that's a very familiar line-out structure for Afghanistan they tend to go over the top to a running back every time management are over the moon it's a fair whistle on him too it's like he's bringing on the gates and that's the ball game really right there it with six players and they haven't done their homework Chinese type eight because they've done that every time Well, he deserves to be carried off the field, Omar. That two-try effort, I rate that highly. He's been told to play on. He's, is there no one else to come on? Surely they've got to get him right for tomorrow now. 28-12. Great restart. Look at that. 
Final minute now. The game is gone for Chinese Taipei. Can they rally here for a late consolation? Just running freely now. Look at that. Just over the top, the shoulders. Oh, he's injured. He's still, still got the zip in him to bolt out of the line and spoil that for Chinese Taipei. They're not stopping for him. I'm not sure why they don't get him off. Game is gone. I'm not sure they brought a physio with them and Chinese Taipei have undone themselves here. That's the hoot up. That's the sound they want to hear. Well, it's a terrible shame. Drop cold. Omar slow man kill, comes off and he's replaced for his first run out Javed Ramani there he goes his big moment with the Huda gone win the scrum well be great to think some of the better resource teams might uh, put out the offer for a bit of physio for these boys tonight Koreans might step in with Houlihan. Well. wonder if they, this will tell us a lot about them, if they fancy having a crack from here. They've come here to play rugby. They've come a long way. Every yes, minute answer. with the ball. Here we go. Afghanistan tearing off downfield through Gazang. Another try here. Well, regardless of what happens tomorrow, this is their moment to shine. Big sub air, slow mankle. He trundles it up. Johnny's Taipei probably can't believe it. Mate. Oh, <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> what about that one? Outrageous. The two big men get together. He releases. He goes again. Of course he wasn't going to kick it. Romani over the top. He doesn't get just a scrum. He gets a full cameo. Here comes the wild man. Here goes Gazang. Probably in his first game. Oh, beauty! How about that one? That is an absolute <laughs> cracker. And then, yes, it's hilarious. And it's brilliant. Well done, Afghanistan. <laughs> Terrific last play. <laughs> <laughs> well... I thought for all money he's going to put that one into the fourth row. He had me. He's done me cold. It was outrageous, wasn't it? Dummy of the century. Oh, he's on for two. Oh. He nailed it. <laughs> what a way to finish the day. They have scratched out a very... Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a front row's prerogative. But I'll tell you what, he sold that with a special side on it. And it's a big one, 35 points to 12. They played a lot of the game with six players. And hats off to the Afghanistan rugby team. They told me in the tunnel before the game they didn't really had much zip left in them. And look at the smiles. And I suspect that, beautiful. that might be his first try in rugby. That's beautiful. The way that's been received. And it's it's good times here in Korea with Afghanistan. Hard luck, though, for Chinese Taipei. You feel for them, newly relegated. They've come here and they've had a good crack and scored some tries today. Well, that was a response straight after the yellow card where they lost one of their players for two yellows. This is Omar. And he struck hard and fast through Afghanistan. And here it is. From the line out and under pressure. And what a competitor that man is. Look at him. He's taken a wee ding there in the first try there, but he's gone in for another. Ultimately, it was going to be too much. The damage he sustained, but that's a great look at set piece. I wonder if they've got that to run. Who will run that for them tomorrow? 
against Hong Kong. And that was the end of that. And then this one. This is something special. That is a dirty Reds move, isn't it? Isn't it? The in and away. He's got on the outside. That's fantastic work. <laughs> well, he did them twice. And he scooted around for a famous try. We look now at the quarterfinal matchups tomorrow. Look at these. Korea versus Malaysia. China, Singapore. Sri Lanka, Philippines. That'll be a good one. And then Hong Kong will face Afghanistan, who have survived this eighth and ninth playoff here at the end of day one. And those are our four quarter finalists for tomorrow. And hope you'll join us on this Facebook feed, Asia.rugby. Keep it coming. Tell your friends. We're down to the final eight. We're on Instagram at Asia Rugby Live. Check in there for outstanding images from the ground. And Twitter, we are at Asia Rugby. Get in there, join the conversation, have your say. We'll be coming back at you tomorrow morning, local time. 10 a.m. is the kickoff. We'll be broadcasting from 9.57 local time. It would be great to have you with us again tomorrow. On behalf of Jed Thion, myself, and the entire broadcast team here at Incheon, Korea, thank you for joining us on day one. We look forward to you joining us tomorrow, day two. Good night.